everybody. I hope you're enjoying the sneak peeks we've shared so far this week. Today I wanted to show you some of our new products, a new collection that we've come out with to help you make the cutest interactive tags, matchboxes, and gift card holders for the holidays. So let's get started. So I'm starting off by showing you a die that we've previously released back in March. This is our matchbox die and it might be one that you already have in your collection which would be a great thing. So the matchbox die is used to create these tiny little matchboxes. They're sized about one and three quarters by two and a half. So it's a pretty small little box. Now, as we were thinking about our holiday release this year, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a set of characters that you could decorate the matchbox with? So maybe you want to make your matchbox look like Santa or you want it to look like a snowman. And then you can include your holiday gifts or little treats for coworkers or friends inside this little box. So that's where the idea for this collection started. It all started with the matchbox. Now before I show you the products, I want to show you what I made. I have been working really hard on this little advent calendar. I decided to make an advent calendar featuring 24 different matchboxes. And I just put them on a cookie sheet with magnet. You can kind of see them there. And I'll bring this back again as I start to talk about these products. But there you can see my labor of love, and I know that my two little girls are going to love getting into one of these boxes every day. I kind of doubt that our little guy is going to care much about it, but the girls were, will certainly have fun with that. So what products did I use on that? Well, we have our new matchy character collection. So I'm going to move the matchbox out of the way and show you these guys. So this is Matchy Elf, this is Matchy Snowman, we have Matchy Santa, Matchy Rudolph, and Matchy Penguin. So you can see at the top of each of them how that will look on the matchbox, and then you saw also in my sample uh, project how that looks. So in addition to that, we have some other products that work really great in order to create an advent calendar or to create small gift items with the matchbox. So for an advent calendar in particular, we have our clearly planned candy cane numbers set, which I use to designate the days on some of the boxes in my design. And then we also have the matchy backgrounds holiday. Now we previously released matchy matchy backgrounds, which includes other non-holiday themed backgrounds that fit exactly on the top of that matchbox. So in my sample, I use the snowflakes on several of them. I'm just gonna bring that back now that you've seen the products so you can see again how I used some of those. So here's my cookie sheet. There we have the penguin. We have Rudolph, snowman, Santa, you can see the matchy matchy holiday background there that I used in the snowflake and you can see the candy cane numbers. There's the little elf here. I made a girl elf and I made a boy elf and then all the way down to the bottom. I did bring in some previously released products. The words here were cut out using our sweet and simple alpha. I used also our mini caps alpha and numbers to do the small numbering. And then I also brought in our holiday treat toppers with these snowflakes on several of the boxes there. But everything else I believe is a newly released product. So there you have an idea of how you could use these to make a little advent calendar. Or of course you could just make one and give it away as a treat. Now one of the other products that we have that works well with this matchbox concept is called flap stacks. So let me show you what that looks like. So flap stacks is the idea behind these is that they cut on three sides and then they impress line on the top. So it creates a flap that opens onto into whatever you cut it into. So you can use it on a card front, you can use it on a tag, you can even use it on a matchbox. So I'll show you how I did that here on one of my little matchboxes. So you can see I have that just cut right into the front there and you can lift that up. I put some window transparency behind there so that whatever I put inside the matchbox 
will not fall out. So you can see that kind of, you can still get the matchbox out. You could put your treat in there and then you can open it up and see the treat inside there. So I did that with several of the matchboxes. I cut the flap into the lid of the box. And that would be the smallest flap that coordinates with the lid. Now the next size of flap coordinates exactly with the size of the characters on the front of the matchbox. So that means you could cut that next size flap into a card front. You could build a character onto that and then you could open it up to see the inside, a sentiment or a two from or something like that. So that's another use for the flap stacks. And now I wanna show you a tag that I created using the uh, largest size of the flap stack. So this is our tag stacklet two, and the flap stack was designed to fit right onto that tag. And then you can see it just opens up and has a sentiment from our North Pole set on the inside. And this I have to show you because it just makes me smile. This is our Santa and Friends set and I put that on a wobble spring so you can see Santa's head bobbles. So that's a really fun thing you can do with the flap stacks to make your tags interactive and extra special. Now we also have flap stacks half circle, which works great with our tag stacklets three. They are rounded and then you can cut a half circle into it and peek into the inside that way. So let me bring back some of these products again so you can see the entire collection. And I'll leave you with one more look at a few of my match boxes. I hope you guys learned something about how our products work together to create these really cool things. And I hope you'll give it a try yourselves. You can find all of our new products on our website starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Bye-bye.